Although the menus, the menus of today, the republics of Ukraine and Moldova agreed to join the new economic union. The Committee for the Administration of the National Economy looked for ways to resolve the crisis with our hard currency reserves. The President of the USSR and the President of the World Bank signed an agreement. The privatization of housing in Moscow remains unclear. Discussions continue. Tallinn, Estonia welcomes new agreed-upon trade prices between uh, Russia and Estonia. Armenia is left with no gas. Battles continue for the Yugoslav city of Vukovar. A new prime minister in Japan, the first South African national strike. The economic war is, continues to threaten us. Yesterday, Armenia had no gas. The pipes were shut off in Azerbaijan. Video information received from Armenia today. The Armenia, uh, the Armenian Republic is in the energy crisis. We have dark streets, cold houses, and very long lines for bread. People are gathered in the hopeless um, wait for public transportation. Complete chaos. Only the amalgamation of Lewis lost 1 million rubles today. It did not produce 230 lamps, which were necessary. Armenia is surviving off its reserves of heavy crude oil. There, today, Armenia is amassing all its potential to drag itself out of its um, problems. But the President of Armenia, Petrosyan, and Acting Prime Minister Bagatrian sent an appeal to Gorbachev, Yeltsin, and Zerbayev and other republic leaders. Azerbaijan Nian military units are assembling at the border of the Nagar Karabakh region. Armenia is ready to resolve differences by discussions, by peaceful discussions, but Armenia would like political and economic sanctions to be used against the Azerbaijan the Republic by the republics within the new economic union. We call the office of the president of Azerbaijan, Natalibov, who reports that Azerbaijan's official statement on the situation will be issued tomorrow. It's very hard to be a reporter in the Chechen English area. The situation is heating up. We have no more new information today. In Grozno, a committee for the preservation of the Chechen English area made a statement an appeal to the Georgian people and all social political movements. It stresses that the intervention of Georgian President Gamsahordia and his officials, their inter interference leads to more conflicts in that area. Georgian Supreme Soviet today stopped the law on political parties and social political movements. This means the end of democracy in this sovereign republic. The agreement on food provision of 1992 was signed by officials from the governments of 12 sovereign republics. The Baltic states did not participate in this process. They accepted the necessity of a common food market. Participants gave the Inter-Republic Economic Committee the right to make agreements with foreign nations in their name for credits and food purchases. The Committee for the Administration of National Economy is making desperate attempts to solve problems. Observers note that in the future, a similar body with a new name, the Inter-Republic Economic Committee, will serve as a coordinator, which is necessary for our republics today. This depends on the outcome of the November, November 11th political union agreements between the republics. November 11th 
No matter what we say, glassness is reaching into real life. Right now, we are at the state session of the Inter-Republic Economic Committee, where journalists were not allowed previously. The session is going well. It's being led by Nikolai Salaev. Issues discussed were very important. The national hard currency deficit this year could be over a billion rubles. Income from exports could be not sufficient to pay off debts and credits. This situation with hard currency is due to our political instability. This is the deputy chairman of the committee, Vodsky. We lost control of the hard currency expenditures. I have in mind two figures. I named them at the session. We owe 70 billion rubles to our overseas partners, foreign partners. We are owed owed 90 billion dollars. I think republics are correct. Foreign debt. Um, we were given foreign debt as a legal entity. The Soviet Union, but you can't divide that by 15. We shouldn't divide the debt. We gave debt to others also, also for political motives, other nations. The committee suggests um, brought forth a suggestion to the State Council of the USSR to nationalize and make known the amount of gold reserves because two, the figure 240 tons is unrealistic. Hard currency. There's a criminal case against the Communist Party of the Soviet Union for trying to export its funds. Accounts have been frozen uh, in bank accounts and in private enterprises. Five and a half billion rubles have so far been collected. Fourteen million dollars have been found in cash. In the state bank USSR in today's hard currency trade, there was an absolute drop in the price of the ruble. One dollar was sold for 110 rubles. In the evening, Defense Minister Air Marshal Shapashnikov had a briefing concerning yesterday's discussions at the State Council about military problems. The briefing was dynamic and brief. He made one point very clear. There was a decision made about the conception of the 5th Congress of the People's Deputy of the USSR, about a united army, about collective security. We decided to support this position. There followed many questions um, afterwards. How will the program of army withdrawal from East Europe and Baltic states be conducted? Withdrawals of troops from Baltics are not being hurried. Has the fall draft been com a complete failure? In Russia, the fall draft was okay, but in the other republics, there were many, many problems. What's new? in the structure of the defense ministry. There will be a council of ministries of the ministers of defense of the, of the sovereign republics which will meet once a month. Will there be an official statement on November 7th from the Ministry of Defense? No, this tradition will not be kept up. And one more question. What would you add to the report about a new, the opening of a new Navy base on the Black Sea? That's the last thing we need right now. We have a horrible economy and the Ministry of Defense has no intention of opening any kind of bases, no new bases.
The fate of the Kurao Islands this is a very serious issue. There are many points of view. Today we had a report from Sakhalin about uh, for the formation of a, the coordinating committee for the resolution of the Kurao problem. On your screen you see Japanese ships. 46 years after the war, there are remains of, of the war are left on the shores of the Kuru Islands. Thousands of our people have died in the Ahatsk Sea and the Pacific Ocean in this area. Those who remain alive do not want, the do not like the indecisive position of the Russian government and support the position of the Sakhalin government Shredorov. It's easy to understand the veterans. The president of the Sakhalin Regional Soviet People's Deputies created the Coordinating Committee to resolve the Kuril issue, to represent the local interests throughout Russia, throughout the central organs and the mass media. They have developed working groups 